Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys. I hope you guys are doing good today. I know it's been a while since you guys have seen my face. Surprise, motherfucker. But I'm here to drop some celebrity tea. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because y'all already know. <laughs> this tea is what? Piping hot. So anyways, I want to go ahead and shout out this Barb. He's one of the, he's one of only two Barbs that are allowed in my DMs. The rest of y'all got booted and blocked, okay? Hey, bitch. <laughs> because anytime I talk about Nikki, y'all getting y'all's feelings and you think that that's like your ex... And you think that that's your ticket to, you know, cuss me out directly. So literally there are no more barbs in my DM besides Malachi and one other person. And they've been tea sippers forever. And they've always been respectful, even if they didn't agree, if they felt like, you know, oh, I didn't really like that Nikki video. They've always kept it respectful. So Malachi hit me up today and he was basically kind of upset because he felt like once again, Nikki's being drug on social media. People are going in on her. So he wanted to, you know, kind of talk to me about it. And I agreed with him. Oh, my God, shocker. The girl that's supposedly on Cardi B's payroll is taken up for Nikki. But see, that's the difference between me and other people. I don't have to sit here and make up lies or relish in Nicki Minaj getting drugged because it, it, it does nothing for my life either way, okay? So I don't have to make up lies on celebrities or be down with the Nicki Minaj hate train or any of that mess. I look at everything fairly, and I will report stuff fairly because my channel is about what? Integrity and truth, okay? So what's going down is this if you guys do not know today is miss rosa parks 107th birthday happy birthday to ya happy birthday happy birthday to ya happy birthday now i know i can't sing but honey i, I try because i don't care okay i'm living my best life and i'm happy right now so anyways Today is Rosa Parks' birthday, but the controversy comes in because of this. Nicki Minaj dropped a snippet to her new single that's going to be coming out. And in that snippet, she drops a line about Rosa Parks. And they got a lot of people in their feelings last night on Twitter. Black Twitter was dragging her. All the fake woke folks were dragging her. All the, you know, typical mush mouths. They were all out there dragging Nicki Minaj. So I'm going to go ahead and play you guys this clip that she posted on social media yesterday. Check this out, and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. Huh. So you guys just heard that snippet and the part that's causing the most controversy. Because Nicki Minaj says, all you bitches Rosa Parks, get your ass up. In my Nicki Minaj voice. So that did not sit well with a lot of people. Um, everybody has something to say, including Tariq Nasheed. I'm going to go ahead and read to you guys what he had to say. You guys go ahead and check this out. So Tariq Nasheed says, Nicki Minaj consistently disrespects fundamental black American icons in her raps and cover art like Malcolm X and now Rosa Parks. Because as a Trinidadian, she doesn't identify with our FBA lineage. She would never say anything disrespectful about Trinidadian icons. So that is what Tariq Nasheed had to say about Nicki Minaj. Um, you know, and I've called out Nicki Minaj when I felt like she was wrong. Like when she did the whole Malcolm X thing, the whole looking ass nigga, I called her out. I held her feet to the fire. I did not appreciate that. Malcolm X is too big of an icon. He sacrificed his life and he did too much for the people to ever be a correlated, associated with being a looking ass nigga. I didn't agree with that. But in this Rosa Parks situation, I do feel like it was a double entendre. I really do. Now, should she have used Rosa Parks' name? Probably not because, you know, she's an icon and that does cause a lot of controversy. But I don't think she meant it in a disrespectful way. I felt like she meant it as a double entendre, and this is why. Well, Hip Hop Issues decided to also break down the Rosa Parks bar um, and explain it further. So this is what Ad Hip Hop Issues is saying. The bar is a double entendre, a metaphor, and wordplay. Basically, she's talking about how everyone wants to act like they're in for the movement or for the culture, but they're not doing anything about it. So it's sort of like an indirect meaning for what Rosa Parks stood for. Although Rosa Parks was sitting down, she made an impact. But others are lazy sitting down trying to attain an equal result as Rosa Parks. So they are trying to make an impact, but their, but their approach isn't getting them there. So basically, they got the get your ass up and get to work. Then he says, 
because everyone is not Rosa Parks. And what worked for her might not always work for you. Also, Nikki followed up and said, you a clown, you do it for likes. So basically saying not only are they putting in zero work, they are doing it just so people could praise them for it and not for the sake of standing up for something slash trying to make a real impact. Having said that, I hope my explanation helped in any way and happy birthday to a true icon and a legend, Rosa Parks. Thank you for breaking barriers and making an impact. Yikes is a vibe and I can't wait till it drops. So that is what they had to say about the situation and I definitely agree. And the reason why I agree with that is because I've been calling out these fake woke mushmouth people for months now, okay? And if you guys don't know, not saying that she wrote the lyrics because of what Jay-Z did at the Super Bowl, but I'm going to use that as a perfect example. Miko Grimes, who I interviewed last year, she put out a tweet and basically Colin Kaepernick, he put it in his highlight story on Instagram. And this is what Miko Grimes had to say about Jay-Z and Beyonce sitting at the Super Bowl. Check this out. So Miko Grimes takes a screenshot of TMZ Sports and she says, I thought we were past kneeling, though. And Colin Kaepernick posted that on his highlight story. And then um, his girlfriend, a.k.a. his handler, Ness Nitty, she also posted what Eva DuVernay had to say. So Eva says, Today, during the Super Bowl, the National Football League and its allies will sensitize and co-opt the black protest movement. I refuse to watch that happen before my eyes, as if it's all good. Some things are worth more than an afternoon of football. So you guys just saw all that. So that is where I feel like Nicki Minaj was going with the lyric, okay? Not saying that she's throwing shots at Jay-Z or Colin Kaepernick, but it all makes sense. You have a lot of people who feel like literally fighting, arguing, and hitting a hashtag on Twitter or on Instagram is somehow making real change. You know, hashtag I'm woke, hashtag black power, hashtag black history month. It sounds good online for an online movement and to get attention and likes, but it's not doing anything for the movement in the real world. So I believe that that is what her lyric was saying, that, you know, a lot of folks are more comfortable sitting behind a computer desk, behind a laptop and just tweeting a bunch of woke stuff, but they're not really doing anything. So get your ass up. Get your ass up. Ain't no sleeping on the zone. Ain't no sleeping on the zone. No, sleep, Ain't no sleeping on the zone. Ain't nobody safe. Ain't no. So I, I, I definitely, I agree with that. I don't think Nikki meant it in a malicious way. You know what I'm saying? So I do agree with what Hip Hop Issues and um, Malachi were saying, that it is a double entendre. And a lot of times with rap music, you have to look at things several different ways. You can't just take what they're saying, you know, at face value. Now, again, has Nicki Minaj said, you know, disrespectful things in the past? Absolutely. Eminem, the rap god. He done said all types of disrespectful shit and people move on and, you know, they, they still give him a chance and they, they go out and they support his new music. So I'm not going to bash the lyrics that she said in that song because I feel like with everything going on in this day and age, it definitely had a double meaning. That is my opinion. You know what I'm saying? So thank you so much, Malachi, for sending me that story. You know what I'm saying? I hope I broke everything down. You barbs who hate me, kick rocks and stay off my channel, okay? But anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Let me know your thoughts on everything going on with Nicki Minaj. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to thumbs up the video. And last but not least, make sure you hit the notification bell so that we can be down with our notification squad, honey. So let me know your thoughts on everything. Do you guys agree that Nicki Minaj was trying to be disrespectful? respectful or do you agree with me that it was a double entendre i want to know y'all's thoughts and opinions so let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment all right deuces